Here's Joe Rogan. I'm not homophobic in any way. Let's get that out of the way immediately. You know, if you're a consenting adult, whatever you have, makes you happy, you know, I'm fine with that. But I am afraid of other guys' dicks. And that's the difference, ladies and gentlemen. I am not homophobic, but I am cock conscious. And there's nothing wrong with that. All right? That is just being honest. Right? You, what heterosexual man is not afraid of another guy's dick? More than anything in life. Nothing scares you more, be honest with me, than a fucking cold blue steel hard on. Nothing. What scares you more? Horror movies? Did you get scared when you saw any of you with the vampire? I'll take Tom Cruise right in the balls, a little five foot six midget. I'm not scared of him. You want to scare me? Show me a movie of something that could really happen, all right? Show me a movie like a big guy with a big dick chasing a little guy in a locked room, right? I'll never sleep again. I mean, I mean, sitting in that theater for an hour and a half just going, Rah! Some big guy with a Swedish accent. Where you going, guy? I thought you weak. Come on, stay still. Don't go between my legs. Some little guy from the high school. Glasses taped up. My girlfriend thinks so, like that. We talk, like, she found me once with like, this big stack of porno movies in my apartment. <laughs> I know, you're looking at me, you're going, Joe, no way. But really, I got them. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. And she go, you know, she thinks that like, that like, jerking off is like optional. You know what I'm talking about? Like she goes, look, you don't need, look, you don't need all that. Next time you get like really excited, just like let it go. Just don't think about it, and it'll go away. <laughs> you really don't know how the apparatus works. You, uh, let me just explain something. Guys are built. We build sperm 24 hours a day, no matter what. You know that? Every, no matter, every waking hour, every minute I'm talking to you, my balls are growing, all right? Every guy in this room is a ticking time bomb. Every guy. It's just like Pac-Man. <laughs> just divide and conquer. You can't stop that. That's not something you just leave alone. No, I just leave it alone, because I'd be climbing through your fucking window at four in the morning with a roll of duct tape and a hunting knife, all right? This is very necessary. Those tapes are for your benefit. <laughs> All these misunderstandings about jerking off, like, even the expression jerking off, like, this is like, that is way too casual an expression for what you're doing, all right? You know, like, masturbation, that's, you know, that's too clinical, too textbook, you know, but jerking off just sounds like, like there's no commitment. You know, just very casual, like, you know, jerking off, like, no big deal, like, you just quit at any minute and go do something else, you know? Hey, man, what are you doing? Jerking off. You want to go to a movie? Oh, zip up. <laughs> Jerking off, you know, it's nothing, like nothing, that, like it's other expressions of much more commitment, right? Like blowjob. That's a job. <laughs> right? Blowjob. But every guy knows that a guy is much more committed to jerking off than a girl that's given a blowjob, right? Girls, be honest, no matter how much you love your boyfriend, your husband, there reaches a time where you will quit. There is a point. While you're doing it, where you're like, enough is enough. I, I can't do it anymore. <laughs> no, my mouth hurts. It hurts right here. Ah! Oh, I'm gonna get locked jaw. It fucking hurts. Ah! You don't even care that it hurts. That's not even bothering you. You don't even, no, no, no. You don't even fucking care that it hurts me. You are so fucked up. You're not even thinking about me. No! Asshole! They like, quit! But you'll just quit. They'll reach a point. No guy ever reaches that point. Ever! No guy ever quits while jerking off. Ever! That's a project you start, you always finish. No matter what, your dick could be bleeding. You could be standing in a puddle of sweat up to your ankles going, I'm almost there, almost there. Like right, the phone ring. Hi, Joe, it's your mom. I haven't talked to you in a hundred years. Whatever, lady, I'm very busy. I'll call you back. Happy birthday. Fuck you, leave me alone. Come on, I'm home. I'm coming. Keep going. Like six hours, lady, lost 20% of your body weight. You're just like, come on! What's the matter with me? Uh, <laughs> and it's one of those things that when you're done, you totally don't understand it. Right? That's the weirdest thing, is when you're done, it's like 3 o'clock in the morning, the fall guy's on TV, you're lying on the couch, with like this dime-sized puddle of Elmer's glue in your stomach going, what the fuck is the matter with me? Boom!